I'm Bruce Williams. I've owned Mount Nathan Nursery now for about 25 years. I'm starting to sort of move away from it for retirement and my daughter Catherine is taking over from me. We have two nursery sites, uh, both located on the Cooma River, one here in Heritage Drive, the other over at Claggerbow Road. We've had major flooding occurring on this particular site. Over the past 10 years, we've had fairly major losses, as I said, about $700,000. Cyclone Debbie was the worst at about 360000 the biggest problem there was that we lost a lot of our um, stock that would normally be used to um, progress through to bigger bags and uh, the cyclone actually affected a lot of other nurseries, not just us, and that replacement stock became almost impossible to get. So the NGIQ's pilot spatial mapping portal was developed in response to Cyclone Debbie and the devastation that was occurred by the industry. Well, Mount Nathan Nursery is really where it all started. In 2018, after Cyclone Debbie came through and left devastation on the nursery, we really needed to look at a different way of, of assessing damage and providing data. So we sent up a drone and uh, really used some of the uh, local suppliers who specialise in this area and that's Land Solutions Australia and also Koga. So we learnt a lot from having the drone go up and do the different grid patterns. Uh, we learnt what areas were usable and what weren't. So the insights was to put up a retaining wall to divert the water that was coming up into our usable areas and that's to divert it back into the river which means that we now have more usable areas with the retaining wall there. That just helps us in the long run with more areas that we can use. Well, the work that uh, some of the Queensland nurseries did on the spatial mapping portal for NGIQ really led us to the National Nursery Industry Recovery Plan project and the development of a national mapping portal. And we've, we've been able to develop it. We've added different layers to the now national portal. So not only can we capture the uh, addresses and, and locations of all the nurseries, what we've done is been able to add different layers. Now that can include live data from the Bureau of Meteorology, but it can also include a risk assessment for your property. So the Nursery Industry National Project on uh, Disaster Recovery is really about looking at the industry's risks, identifying natural vulnerabilities that are across every single site, and then providing a suite of resources that are available to nurseries to help with preparation activities, response and recovery phases. You must forward plan and uh, contact your nursery industry if you're unsure and they will try to, try to help you. Um, listen to the weather forecasts and uh, be very aware of what's going on around you. It's critical that you do actually access these. Um, you can talk to your state NGI, talk to GIA as well. Um, those resources are readily available through the uh, various websites. Um, and if you're participating in EcoHort or any of the NIASA programs, um, they're becoming part and we're integrating that within your EcoHort annual assessment. <laughs>